Hi guys, I want to talk a little bit today about the embodiment of that deep, delicious yes. Um, I've been talking about it a lot in my classes and uh, at some of the live events. Some of you that have seen the Ben and I conversation, a huge amount of that conversation is talking about what that big, delicious yes is. And the essential, um, the, the essential movement that that is, that you need to stand inside of that deep, delicious yes in order for creativity and authenticity to take alignment. Um, so basically, in order to align with your most authentic self, you need to stand inside of your delicious yeses, knowing that um, there is room and there is a pathway for those delicious yeses to unfold. And uh, a little bit of how, you know, creativity and manifestation happens, but also how your authenticity finds voice and expresses yourself. But ultimately, really, that a lot of what we're talking about is how do you make those decisions? Because I know for a lot of you, um, it can seem really hard to access. And it can also feel like, particularly around a really high stake of decision, like foreclosing on a house or um, ending a, a marriage or high stake in a, in a great way, um, you know, how to, how to spend the big inheritance windfall or where to put the money. Some of those big stake decisions, it becomes incredibly difficult. So I want to point out or make a little roadmap for you about how to make those decisions. I know um, directly, firsthand experience, how paralyzing those decisions can be. I, as I've mentioned before, came from a very big amount of violence. There was a lot of violence in my life prior to awakening. And so not only did I feel like I had to absolutely make the right decision, and I would spend such a huge amount of time calculating uh, the pros and cons of every decision and all the different outcomes that were possible because there was this incredible pressure to make the right decision. Otherwise, there would be uh, a violent outcome. I would suffer. There would be tremendous pain. So there was this um, experience of paralysis around decision making, particularly high stake decisions. So I have so much awareness of how that goes on for you guys and how that grip or that fear of making decisions can really take hold. Um, and the, you know, the grace in my life is that suddenly one day it all dissolved and uh, no me, <laughs> no identity, nobody um, began to live this life. And in the unwind, the simplicity of decision making, the simplicity of following those DPS became so obvious and so available. So I want to kind of show you how you do that because you, it's available right now, always. You don't have to be awake to see it. You can access it at any time. Um, and back in my old life, prior to awakening, I didn't have a spirituality. I didn't have non-dual teachers on YouTube that I could listen to. I didn't have any access to any of that and not have tools. So I was stuck in that paralysis and that um, kind of fear of making the wrong decisions. And, uh, and so it's with that kind of passion that I make these YouTubes because I want to give you the tools that I, the tools that I didn't have. So really what I'm talking about is being able to make a decision from your heart being able to listen to what your heart wants. And now that can be such an abstract thing, and I know you've heard that from a lot of teachers. I'm talking about a particular resonance that I call a delicious yes. So some kind of experience, when you think about it, it gives this yummy, yummy, yummy feeling of a delicious yes. It's going to be unique to you, whatever your delicious yes is. So whenever a decision arises, you're looking for that delicious yes, and you're not going to find it in the thought stream. So in that constant chronic thought stream, and I just want to point out that you can be aware of it. As I pointed out in the last YouTubes, you can notice the thought stream, and you can bring your awareness out of it. I know a lot of you feel like you can't, and you're stuck there. But I want to point out in this moment right now, 
you can access it in every single moment. You can access your way out of the thought stream. The most simplest and perhaps the most common is to just bring your awareness to your breathing. Bring as much of your awareness as possible to the breath. Maybe that takes you 10 minutes. Maybe it takes you 15 minutes. Maybe it takes some people two minutes that have been practicing for a long time. But moving your awareness off of the thought stream, off of the voices going in the head. And from that place, you can hear your own intuition. And the flag for you when it's not your intuition is that the answer you keep coming up with is, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know is a complete flag for you because it is such um, a specific way of saying, I don't want to look, I don't want to listen, I don't want to know. That's what I don't know is. It's just you can cut through that right away. As soon as you feel that sense of, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, you're in the mind stream. It means you don't want to look, you don't want to listen. And all you have to do is bring your awareness out of the mind stream onto the breath, or as Eckhart Tolle teaches, into the energy of your hands or your feet, bringing your awareness off of the mind stream, coming back to a centered place. From there, an intuition will arise. It might take some time. It might take a few hours. It might take a few days. It might even take a few weeks. But if there is an insistence on you, a real commitment to not move unless you know the delicious yes, unless you can hear that delicious yes, that clarity will come. It will arise. So that's what you're looking for when you're making those decisions. So no matter what the decision is, you're listening for that deep, delicious ribbon of yumminess that floats through you when you think about a solution. And if you have to make decision A or B, and neither of them feel like a delicious yes, it is your job to pull your awareness off of your mind stream and just let your intuition arise. And you can just go about your daily activities. If this is going to take a couple of weeks, inside of your daily activities, it will arise. The clarity will show up for you. It's when you think you have to make a decision and you're suddenly listening to this mind stream that's contradicting itself in every corner, that's putting you in this stuck paralysis place and feeling like, how in the hell do I move from here and how do I make the right choice and what, what choice is the awakened choice or the enlightened choice and all of that, throw all that away. Get down, get down into your breath, bringing your awareness off the thought stream, inviting the place where you're going to feel that yummy, delicious yes. And that's the place you're going to move from. That's your power of creativity. That's the authenticity of yourself moving in the world. That's you in deep alignment with your heart, in deep alignment with your true self. It's moving in ways that you are standing in and making decisions around that yummy, delicious yes. And it's totally available and it's totally available in every moment and you're almost never going to find it up here in the mind stream. You're almost never going to get there. You need to drop out, breathe, and welcome clarity whenever it arises knowing that it may just take a little time. So hopefully that's helpful. Feel free to email me any questions and you can find me on Facebook, you can find me on Twitter, you can find me on my blog. It's all out there. I hope you're having a good day you guys. Bye-bye.